Hello everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be talking about Stable Diffusion and GPT-4, which I have been working for last few days. In this video, I will show you how I use GPT-4 to create prompt for Stable Diffusion that can generate stunning images. If you haven't seen my previous video about GPT-4 and Midjourney, make sure to check it out. Let's have a look at the prompt first. It's a pretty big prompt, so I will not read out everything. I'll provide the link in the description where from where you can download it. But let's have a look at the some important points in the prompt. So you will see that this is the photorealistic structure, artistic image. Then I have provided the information like curly brackets are necessary. Then camera, keywords, the weight, because in stable diffusion, you have to provide weight if you want to have impact of some necessary words. So this entire prompt was generated by GPT itself. So this was my first command. Hello chat GPT, I will be providing you with information about stable diffusion in multiple chunks. After each chunk of information, I would like you to update your summary with the new information. So in future, you don't need any reference and from summary, you can build the prompt for stable diffusion and so on. And after that, I started providing basic information and here I provided about adjectives, then type of image and so on. So with all these details, right, I was able to finalize this structure, basic prompt structure with all the details. So let's take this prompt and we'll provide it to ChatGPT4 and we'll start creating prompts. So let's create our first prompt. So this is the command I'm giving. So we have the three different prompts ready. Let's take our photorealistic image prompt and we'll go ahead and use it in stable diffusion. I'm using realistic vision model. And I provided already, you know, a negative prompt here. And these are the basic setting I'm using here. So let's go ahead and click on generate. So our images are ready. Let's have a look at them. So I've opened it in a new tab. So look at these hyper realistic images. So we are able to generate this kind of prompt and images with this model and stable diffusion. Let's have a look at this, this one, and the last. So let's go ahead and try something different. So the second prompt I gave was, Kingfisher sitting on a tree, rainy season and award winning shot. So this is a prompt which was generated by ChatGPT. So let's take this one, go ahead to stable diffusion and run it. So I provided here, I'll go ahead and run this one. I have just changed the dimension here, 768 by 512. So let's have a look at the generated image. I have opened it in a new tab. So look at these hyper realistic images. Look at this. This is even more amazing. Look at the texture on the wood. You have a complete blur background using telescopic lens and this one. For the last one, I wanted to create a landscape scene. So I've given a sunset scene and this is a prompt which I've received. So I've already run the prompt to save, you know, time. So let's have a look at the images here. So these are the kind of images we were able to generate. So this looks really cool, right? Uh, I mean, this is super clear and beautiful images. So to download any kind of model for stable diffusion, you can use this Civit AI. This is really good place where you can find multiple models. You can just go to any model, click on this, download and put it in your stable diffusion model folder. So that's all for the day, guys. If you like this video, hit the like and subscribe button, share with your friends and see you in the next one. Thank you.